Hey guys, so today is going to be another what sold video. I am just going to be piecing together some videos of me doing my shipping over the past couple of weeks, um, sharing with you guys what is currently selling right now. So these are all going to be current sales. Um, brands, styles, things that you guys want to keep an eye out for when you're out thrifting as well. I'm going to be sharing how much they sold for and what platform they sold on. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that. Some of these items you guys may recognize from my recent haul videos. There's a lot of stuff that is selling very quickly as well as some older stuff that I'm pulling out of my inventory. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys like and subscribe, especially if you enjoy reseller related content. I'm going to be holding myself accountable to posting at least one video per week, possibly two um, if I'm able to get them edited in time, but I'm at least one and it's going to be a mixture of my thrift hauls, thrift with me's and these what sold videos that will be going up. So make sure you guys subscribe down below and let's go ahead and get into what sold. All right guys, so it is now Monday and I've got all of my shipping ready to go. I just need to start packaging all these up. I got my bins ready to go. I did ship on Saturday, so these are all of my sales that happened after my shipping went out Saturday and then Sunday, which we had a pretty good weekend. I'm very happy with the sales this weekend. Um, I do try to ship almost every single day. Occasionally, I will, except for you know Sunday, obviously, because the post office is closed, but Occasionally, I will skip one day throughout the week just to get myself a break, but most of the time I'm trying to ship out every single day. So let me show you guys real quickly what sold. I have two more items sitting over here on my little like trinket hard goods table. Um, these two items are going out today. So the first one is this butterfly. These are real butterflies in this frame. This sold for me over on Mercari, I believe for around $40. You guys, I'm going to pop the comps up on the screen just in case I forget <laughs> exactly how much they sell for. And then the other item is back here. It is this set of Starbucks tumblers. I picked this up from Goodwill uh, not long ago. These actually sold pretty quickly, but they're just some San Diego State. Anytime I find some that are like specifically branded to like an area like San Diego State, like college or the You Are Here, We Are Here collections, I always look them up because um, people will pay for them online because you can only get them in your state. So if somebody wanted these and couldn't find them, they're gonna go online to try to get them. Um, so I think they're just easier to sell that way. But yeah, these sold, um, I honestly can't even remember. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen, but they also sold over on Mercari. Okay, and then back over here, I have a couple clothing items going out. So we have this Nike running pullover. Nike running stuff usually does pretty good for me, especially if it's a newer model. And um, I really liked the texture on this. I usually grab these little like quarter zips if they are um, newer. Let me show you the tag here. So if you guys find Nike, you can always look up the date on this little tag here. You can see where it says HO20. So that's, I think holiday, I'm not sure what the HO stands for, but of 2020. So the two zero right there is 2020. So not, not super old, um, but yeah. So keep an eye out for Nike running stuff. I think that sold for around 30 maybe. You guys don't quote me on these. American Eagle jeans, these did not sell for much. Um, probably not a good pickup, but I still made about $5 or so profit on those. And then this Lululemon t-shirt, kind of a basic. Um, again, these don't sell for a ton, but if you can get them cheap enough, I usually pick them up. Okay, and then over here we have some Brooks new in the box. And all of my shoes. I won't go through the shoes individually, but I'll kind of just read off some of the brands. These are just common brands that I look for, probably like my top selling brands. Um, we have Brooks, we have Nikes, we have Ultras going out, Asics, Hoka's, Saucony's, um, some of the ones that are a little bit different, I'll kind of point out. So we have some Crocs here. Not all Crocs are worth grabbing, um, but I do love 
picking up like the collaboration ones. These ones are a Disney collab. They're the Corella DeVille ones, 101 Dalmatian Corella DeVille. And a lot of the Disney ones will sell really, really well. So keep an eye out for Disney Crocs. We have Kuru right here. That's a really good brand that I know a lot of people pass over. They don't know about this brand, but I love picking these up. So keep an eye out for Kuru. You guys will see the little logo on the side of the shoe when I pop the picture up on the screen. We have some Vans collaborations. So these are the Vans SpongeBob. They're the Sandy collabs with the little flowers on them really pretty i've sold these multiple times so again collaborations always look those up because some of them are worth good money and then some michael kors boots i do pretty well with michael kors depending on the style um, in shoes so usually if i find a style that i feel is a better style like a cuter more on trend current style um, I will look them up. Um, so you have to be careful with Michael Kors, but there's definitely ones that you do not want to be passing over. We have some Sanooks. These again are like bread and butter. They don't sell for a ton, but I will occasionally pick them up. The reason I grabbed these ones is because they were the boots. They're the puff and chill boots and they were brand new. So they have to be cheap enough because again, they don't sell for a ton and then they have to be in very good condition, a unique style. Um, or maybe like a pattern, print, uh, colorway, something like that. And then I will pick them up because they do sell. All right, so that is it. That is what is going out today. I just have to get all of this packed up, put in my bins, and get it set out on my porch for a pickup. I have these OnCloud shoes right here that I just listed. This is my just listed rack here that I need to cross list. These never made it that far. They never got cross listed. Um, anytime I found, find these on clouds, specifically in all white uh, women's sizes, it seems like they sell super fast. Um, and these ones are in amazing condition, very, very clean. And they sold super fast, I think for around $75 on Poshmark. I'll pop the comp up on the screen. All right, guys, so this item actually ended up selling pretty quickly. I just shared this in a recent video. I told myself I was not going to accept anything lower than $85. I listed this item for $100, but the last one that sold on eBay sold for $85. So I was like, okay, I'll take any offer I get, $85 or above. And I finally got an offer for $85 on Poshmark for this cute little Holt Howard ketchup condiment little dish. This thing is adorable. Um, I picked this up at Goodwill recently. This is definitely a brand you want to keep an eye out for. 1958 Holt Howard. You can see it marked there on the bottom. I'm actually a little bit sad this sold just because I love it so much, but not really, you guys. I'm super happy this found a new home. I cannot keep everything. I have to keep reminding myself that. So super happy it found a new home. And now I got to get it shipped up or packaged up so I could ship it out, which I'm a little nervous about, but I'm going to try to do my best to keep this little guy safe. So hopefully he makes it there all in one piece. I have another clothing item that sold. I just pulled it out of this bin here. And this is a pair of very like Y2K, early 2000s, true religion jeans. So I definitely keep an eye out for this on the back pocket of jeans. Um, True Religion seems to be uh, selling really well right now. So the style name is always right here, which I really like. So these are the Sammy Big T, and they are a low-rise, super low-rise flare jean. So again, very Y2K. Um, and these sold for $35 over on Poshmark. I have a couple more sales going out that I wanted to mention and show you guys because I think I showed both of these in a YouTube video. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of update on these. So this is the Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville Hawaiian button up shirt. Really cool print on this. Anytime I find Hawaiian shirts in a really cool print, I usually look up the brand. I know like, um, this is definitely one I'll keep an eye out for. And then Tommy Bahamas. 
but the bolder, more colorful, unique prints, really fun, seem to do uh, pretty well. And this sold for $25 on Mercari. The best thing about that is there's no fees on Mercari, so I get paid out $25 for that. And then this is that pink Lululemon jacket that I got at Goodwill recently, the running jacket, and this sold very quickly. I can't remember the exact amount it sold for, but I will pop that up on the screen. I sent out a 10% offer with discounted shipping on Poshmark and somebody did accept. So um, also a very quick sale. So I'm gonna get that shipped out as well. I also sold this chunky like metal and leather chain belt. This did not have a brand on it, but I could tell it was really nice quality. It has really good weight to it. Um, this is real leather. And this sold for $30 over on Mercari. And that's it guys. So I get everything packed up, set it out by my front door and schedule a USPS pickup online. If you guys don't know, you can schedule a free USPS pickup where they will come to your house and grab your um, packages. You just have to leave them somewhere by like your front door or something. And yeah, they will come and pick them up for you.